Welcome once again to another edition of Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video and hopefully if you're watching this on YouTube you will subscribe to my Shelf Life Book Reviews channel or if you're watching this on the Facebook's Shelf Life Book Reviews channel you will also add this to your must-watch list. Uh, as always I'm bringing to your attention two very highly recommended books. The first book and I'm going to say that I'm a little biased about this author, Mercy by David Baldacci. If I was going to pick top two or three authors, David Baldacci has to definitely be at the top. Over the years, he has written so many quality books. I have never read one book of his that was subpar, and I doubt that he could ever consciously write a subpar book. He is one of the best authors out there. So if you've never read a David Baldacci book, what are you waiting for? start with this one. Mercy is published by Grand Central Publishing, by the way, and it retails for $37. This is book four and possibly the final book in the Atlee Pine series. Uh, it is a series that has really um, taken the literary world by storm. It features Atlee Pine, who, when she was six years old, her twin brother Mercy was abducted in their bedroom and it uh, all had to do with her mother's uh, involvement with trying to take down the mob. It was like a revenge kidnapping. Now, um, Mercy was taken to uh, the residence of two people, two very sick and disgusting people, and she was kept captive there for almost 20 years. She finally escaped, and uh, she was tortured, um, her skin was cut, she was burned, it was, it was a horrible experience. And she, she basically put it behind her, she basically blacked out um, a lot of her life. In fact, she didn't even know that her name was Mercy. She went by the name of Eloise L. E. L. Kane. And she, uh, it's been 30 years since the abduction. And she's, um, well, a shadow of, of her former self, but anyways, she has become an MMA uh, fighter, and she fought, and she won a thousand dollars. Some of it she gave to um, impoverished people. So, but she's a very complex character. And in the meantime, um, Atlee um, and her assistant Carol Bloom is still trying to find her sister. She doesn't think she died. It's possible she did die, but she will never give up the hope of being reunited. So, um, Mercy, who, who is called L now, um, she is at a rundown um, sort of motel, um, and she comes across this scene where uh, a man is beating up his girlfriend, which he routinely does. She beats him up, um, he takes a gun out to shoot her, and she knocks him out. Well, he eventually dies in the hospital. She did not know that he died. She did not want him to die, but she just wanted him to leave the woman alone, so she takes the woman to a shelter. So, um, anyways, uh, the man's brother, Peter Buckley, who's an eccentric billionaire because he has money to just throw around left, right, and center, he finds out he wants this woman called Elle, who is actually Mercy, of course, so he hunts her down. In the meantime, Atlee Pine and her assistant, Carol Bloom, are still out looking for mercy so it, it it's so complex that uh, I'm not do, I'm I, I'm not doing this justice uh, let's just say you have to be there there's uh, four I think 402 pages and it's a, it is the sort of book that you will not put down because it goes from one situation to another but Peter Buckley has hired a former FBI woman Brit Spector who is a paid for hire assassin and he wants his revenge. He wants Mercy killed. He also wants Atlee killed as well, too. So the sisters will be united, but in death. So page by page, it just gets more intense. Can you tell that I liked it? I did. And um, it's uh, the conclusion brings full circle uh, the story as we find out who Mercy and Atlee's actual father was. We find out why her mother deserted uh, them and it's just like I said it's so complex so have mercy on the reader because uh, this book is definitely one that you will not forget and 
um, you'll recommend to your friends as well too as I'm doing with you. The second book that I'm drawing to your attention is The Heron's Cry by Anne Cleves. This is published by Pan Macmillan and it retails for $38.99. Uh, there's no cover here. This is, well, it's a heron's cry. It's not called A Storm is Coming. But uh, um, Anne Cleves is an excellent writer as, as well. She has won the Silver Dagger Award, one of the most prestigious literary awards for quality writing. This is book two in the Two Rivers series. And uh, it brings full circle, and it sounds like the conclusion of a book featuring Matthew Venn. He is the detective, and he's investigating um, the murder of Nigel Yeo. He's he's retired doctor, and um, he was investigating some something that went on at the hospital. At a party, he was talking to another police officer, Jen Rafferty, but she was too uh, under the weather, uh, alcohol-wise, to really appreciate what he was trying to convey to her. Next day, he is found dead in his daughter's glass blowing studio. She's a glass blower, and he is killed with a shard of glass taken from one of the vases that she has created. So it's a bloody mess. So Matthew then comes and he investigates it. And then later another murder happens and it's almost like the daughter, could she be responsible? You start to wonder whether um, the daughter Eve might be part of this, and uh, but I'm not going to tell you. But uh, I'm not going to tell you who the real killer is, or that'll spoil it. But let's just say it is typical Anne Cleves mystery fiction. She writes very well. It's very slow paced. Um, there's not a lot of action. It's it's more character driven than action driven. But still, The Heron's Cry is definitely a book that you will enjoy if you enjoy Anne Cleves, and even if you haven't read Anne Cleves, give it a try. You just might like it. So those are the two books I wanted to draw to your attention this week. Of course, the number one standout is Mercy by David Baldacci. So I, as always, I thank you for your time in watching my Shelf Life book review online videos. I welcome your comments, positive and negative. Please leave your feedback. And as always, keep watching for the next one because it's going to come soon. So. Stay safe, stay sane, stay social distancing, and do stay in touch. Bye for now.